As proud patron of the Here and Say Centres in Queensland, I'm very pleased today to be able to launch the Here and Say Worldwide. And in the course of our uh, duties, Marlene and I have had the privilege of meeting and talking to many, many people around Australia. And I was saying to Dimity and, and um, Dr Marlow earlier on that I've been emphasising as often as possible the importance of giving children the best possible start in life by focusing on the critical period from conception to five years of age. I, I think if we could really develop this philosophy as a nation whereby women are looked after from the time that they conceive a baby so that that baby is born into as happy and as nurturing circumstances as possible and that from everything that's then fed into that baby's ears, eyes and mouth is then done in a way uh, that maximises the nurturing, caring and physical impact. If this could be done as part of a total national philosophy, this country would save itself billions and billions and billions of dollars per year in future problems later on down the track. And where I see the Here and Say Centre and its activities is being part of that part of that uh, uh, process and that's why I'm very very keen uh, to give it my support. So I'm keen to encourage everyone who can offer children a better start in life whether it be by supporting good health, nutrition, education or the supreme benefits of being loved and cherished as part of a stable family. I'm very keen to encourage that situation and as we all know I mean it's, it's, it's fundamental stuff. The ability to hear impacts greatly, obviously, on our general health and sense of well-being and the ease with which we learn and communicate. And this is especially important for children in the critical years when they're developing their language ability and learning by interacting and communicating with their family and the world around them. While deafness obviously doesn't preclude anyone from having a fulfilling and successful life, it's very important that deafness does not go undetected in the crucial early years because through the wonderful work undertaken at the Here and Say Centres it can be treated and treated very effectively. And I understand more than 90% of children who attend a, a centre are subsequently able to attend mainstream, uh, mainstream schools thus opening up a range of valuable education, employment and social opportunities. And the impressive success of the Here and Say Centres in Australia is everything to the remarkable vision and perseverance of Dimity Dornan. And for many years, Dimity has combined the roles of researcher, clinician uh, and business manager to bring her ideas to a successful fruition. And I think it was a, it was a Churchill Fellowship that got you uh, started, uh, Dimity, in 1992 and that enabled you to learn about the techniques that underpin the work at the Hear and Say Centres. The success of the auditory verbal method of teaching speech and language is evident in the excellent results achieved at the centres for hearing impaired babies and preschoolers. And linked to this, uh, <clears throat> the success of the business model she has adopted is evident in the increasing growth and coverage of the Hear and Say Centres and it's exciting to see this model of assistance now spreading worldwide. The global need for hearing support is great. The estimates are about half a million children born each year have some sort of hearing impediment. And while there are clearly many challenges in expanding your work around the globe, we're all proud of this example of Australian excellence. Once again, I think demonstrating our capacity for innovation to the rest of the world. And we can be doubly pleased that the work of the Hear and Say Centres takes advantage of the development of the bionic ear by another great Australian scientist in Professor Graham Clark. And I'm sorry he's not uh, 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 able to be with us today, but I've met him in numerous uh, places, including in China, where he's doing a lot of work there. Uh, and he's a great Australian. And I understand that the Hear and Say Worldwide team is uh, already active in Russia, Germany, Samoa, Burma, Indonesia and Taiwan, amongst other countries. 
And I'm pleased that we have with us today Francis Xavier. Where are you, Francis? Are you here somewhere? Down there, got you. The father of a hear and say worldwide child in Papua New Guinea. Francis, his wife Keela, and their family have made considerable personal sacrifices to ensure that their daughter Hannah Lisa has been able to receive assistance from the Hear and Say team. So it's a great pleasure to have you here today. Big fella, big fella, I'm looking all good, man. I'm happy to belong to New Guinea. My pigeon's not too good these days. <laughs> <laughs> so we wish you and uh, uh, Hannah Lisa every good wish for the future. Now, I understand the Here and Say team are looking at spreading their good work further afield into the Asia Pacific region and into Europe, and I think that's a, a, a laudable aim. Uh, with this sort of drive and commitment, Dimity and her team are going to make a significant difference to the health and well-being of children across the world. And I wish uh, the team every success with this important work. And thus, it's now my very great pleasure to launch here and say worldwide. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> For enchantment.